Well, I'm making this video for the purposes of uh, to talk about this uh, drug called terbinafine. I've been on this drug called uh, terbinafine for approximately two months now. Uh, terbinafine is for uh, this toenail fungus that I've had for quite a few years. I was diagnosed with it uh, several years ago. It's quite an expensive drug if you don't have uh, coverage in Canada and uh, at the time I didn't have any medical coverage and uh, at, but now I do so it's uh, fairly inexpensive when you are are uh, covered for this particular drug but anyways um, one of the side effects that it does have they they talk about uh, uh, having uh, liver damage. I haven't had any side effects from it. The only f side effects that I've had is actually the recovery of my toenails. As you can see, uh, my my big toe uh, is the worst of them all. I've actually been affected with this on five of my toes, three on my left foot, and two on my right. Uh, again, like I said, the uh, big toe on my left foot was the one that was affected the most. Uh, but uh, since I've been on this drug, uh, I've actually uh, started uh, getting the uh, recovery of the nail back. I've got about half of the nail back. Right now, as you can see, the, uh, the fungus itself is uh, getting pushed out by the nail. The, uh, the middle toe on the foot is, uh, was pretty, pretty well covered as well, but it's since, uh, I've cut the nail, cut it back a little bit too far, as you can see there's, uh, had a little bit of blood on it, but it's growing back, but 100% of the nail is recovered. This nail, you can see it had all that yellow, damaged, yucky stuff on it, but, uh, I haven't cut that one back, but it's uh, pretty much recovering as well. It looks pretty good. I'm actually going to show you the other other foot. Um, this one looks pretty good too, but that's pretty much what that middle toe looked like on my left foot. And again, my baby toe on my right foot looks pretty much the same as the toe on my left foot. But I wasn't affected on the big toe of my right foot. But again, uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the way things have gone. I was just back to see my doctor uh, last week and he wasn't really, um, I wouldn't say happy. He was happy with the, uh, with the, with, with the recovery, but he was, he was talking about um, the reoccurrence of the uh, with the toenail fungus. Uh, where I actually got, I actually got a really bad case of athlete's foot uh, several years ago, and then after the athlete's foot, I got it from a local uh, uh, a hotel. I went in and uh, did a swim in their pool, and I wasn't wearing any any protection on my feet in their. Uh, in the shower area, so if you are uh, going into a, a swimming pool, uh, a public swimming pool, I strongly suggest that you wear protection on your feet when you're in their shower area, cause, because that's where I picked up my uh, my toenail fungus and my athlete's foot problem. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this. Uh, for this segment, I'm actually going to do another little video once it's over. I wish I would have done a, a before and after. Uh, sorry for that because uh, I think there would have been a, dramas a dramatic uh, difference in what you're actually seeing now. The uh, the total the total difference is uh, is quite dramatic. Like I said, you would have seen uh, this brown, yellow, dried out, yucky toenail on my big toe here but uh, but now I've almost got 50% uh, of it back 
So hopefully by the end of it, I will have 100% of it back. Have a good day, folks, and uh, hopefully you're going to have some success if you ever have the ability to use this drug as well. Anyway, have a great day. God bless.